In regards to the ultimate power fantasy, there, there's two aspects of that that I, I want to touch on. You just want to button mash and not worry about strategy and just want to see a bunch of cool shit, bodies, limbs flying all over the place, blood and explosions, you can have that. Or if you want that tactical battle of, of back and forth, there's a strategic reason for every attack in the game, for every button press, like that's where the depth comes into the gameplay of having a usage for everything. Just the ability to uh, now dodge more, block more, uh, engage combat in a way that is much more visceral and more exciting and then combined with the dismemberment system, uh, it should be a lot easier for people to come in and play it for the first time. Uh, one of the things we identified from Portal 1 that wasn't very fun was fighting five guys at the same time. Um, it's fun to fight five guys, but not if they're all hitting you at the same time. So by having the commandability, when you have those five guys on screen and they're going to attack you, you can now hit the button and get a block, or hit the button and flip over the guy, things of that nature. So it gives the player a lot more control to the to combat and into the battlefield. Instead of reacting to getting hit, the player can now react to the threat of danger and respond accordingly. They're pulling off getting a controlled player experience where the player can completely control the combat uh, dynamics and and uh, not ever feel like it's unfair, but maintain that sort of level of, of chaos and excitement that we, we, we hit in Prototype 1. Each change is somewhat micro, but the effect that it has on the overall game experience is huge, and I think that's getting me incredibly excited to see the results that the combat team are actually generating, and to make the game feel so much more rewarding.